Greetings to you all, this is One Happy Old School Gamer, because I'm back with a full on review for Far Cry 5. This means another 100% Old School Gamer 1971 1 PlayStation 4 0. Maybe even another Platinum. The Platinum count is 92. Level 31 with 51%. All the trophies are unlocked, all the DLC is completed, the game sits at 100% with nothing else to do except review it, take it out back and put it out of its misery. So after it all, this is what I think. Far Cry 5, developed by Ubisoft, it's an action adventure game that came to the PlayStation 4 in 2018. Yep, there has in fact been more than 5 if you include the Xbox 360 and Wii games and Primal and New Dawn, but this is my first Platinum on a Far Cry game but certainly will not be my last. Ubisoft are my current favourite developer, they are based in Monterey France, established in 1986 they have developed such series as Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Prince of Persia, Tom Clancy's and Watch Dogs. They are currently the fourth largest publicly traded company in America and Europe, behind Activision Blizzard, EA and Take Two Interactive. You play as Rook, a rookie for the Hope County Sheriff's Department. Our mission is to arrest court leader Joseph Seed. Unfortunately it doesn't quite go to plan and the shit hits the fan really quick. Things get out of hand and control is lost. Joseph sees his arrest as the sign of the end of days. Having escaped you must take down Joseph Seed and his lieutenants Faith, Jacob and John whilst helping out local inhabitants. You'll be attacked in the air, land and water. You can approach this any how you want to, take them out in any order. With many side missions to amuse you, it never gets boring. Joseph, cult leader and sociopath has no emotion. Faith uses drugs to control or wipe out those without use or those who are too dangerous to their cause. John uses fear by tattooing our skin, our flesh and then flaying it off, paying for our sin with a pound of flesh. Jacob uses mind control through music and hypnosis. Joseph at some point confesses to killing his own daughter after a road accident involving his wife and daughter. In short, they are all screwed up. In short, they are all batshit crazy. So is this Far Cry 5 or is this Short Whimper 5? We start off with what looks like a documentary about Joseph Seed and the project at Eden Skate. There is many town folk discussing how Joseph Seed took over their little town. It is spattered with footage of one of the meetings. Joseph is giving a sermon when he outs a spy who is filming the whole thing. He is brought before Joseph Seed who gouges out the spy's eyes and stands with his arms open in a kind of Jesus pose with his hands blooded. All of the people on the documentary are in the game as the people who help you in opposing Seed. Then the video cuts off, it's a loss of signal. You are in the helicopter with a US Marshal and other members of the Hope County Sheriff's Department. A huge statue of Joseph Seed stands ominously in the night sky. The Sheriff wants the Marshal to reconsider the arrest warrant. The Marshal stands his ground. The Sheriff calls base and puts them on standby. They approach and you capture your first glimpse of the compound. The marshal is once again offered by the sheriff to leave this alone one last time before landing. As they land, the sheriff tells them to keep their sidearms holstered and he will be controlling the situation. You climb out of the helicopter, then it's over to you. This is a cool opening and certainly interested me enough to spend the best part of a year playing twice and all the DLC that comes with it.
The first thing that really jumps out at you is the graphics. Even the loading screens look outstanding. This is the normal Far Cry first person game, but just how well Hope County has been designed. It's a massive open world playground, and whilst you can travel on foot, fast travel, car, quad bike, boat, plane and helicopter are all faster. The character models are great and certainly look realistic. Animals also get the same treatment. Daytime looks good, then there is the night time, it looks better. When near well lit buildings it looks really good, but best is when it's on a dark night. I spent months on this game, almost continuous sometimes, squeezing the odd game here and there while waiting for the DLC to come out. Many times over I thought I'd seen everything, then something new came along. The draw distance is impressive. Hope County is one fantastic looking sandbox and I will miss Hope County until I start on New Dawn. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are. The locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me. Again, this is top notch. The music has been chosen well both on the radio, some great classics, and the background music that set the mood. Sound wise, this game does virtually nothing wrong. The ambient sound draws you into this world. It's a living, breathing world that is amazing when all things considered. I found the animal noises helped draw you in and definitely added to that overall atmosphere. There's just something special about the cougar purring as you pet peaches. The voiceover is really good. They chose a very good cast and the voices fit what the characters look like and how I would think that they would sound. When you play this game, you can see how much effort went into this game. Now for some, Joseph Seed is not a great antagonist. For me, it's the speech about killing his daughter and how God made him do it. All the time without emotion, but with conviction. I found him creepy as hell. In a way, he made my skin crawl. He is not the best Far Cry antagonist, nowhere near, but it doesn't stop him making your skin crawl. Well, he did mine anyway. Like the controls, they are fluid, and once you get used to them, you'll be flying around the map, literally sometimes. It's a lot of fun to play this game. Guns for hire are okay in my experience, but fangs for hire are better. Really, really good in fact. My best team? Cougar, Peaches, Dog, Boomer. There's just something fun about sending them into a base and watching them wipe everyone out. The gun combat is good and is a lot of fun with a lot of different weapons, it's possible for you to have a loadout that suits your style. So my advice is experiment. I use high caliber machine gun, sniper rifle, Uzi pistols and bow and I use them all at different times. The driving is fun and certainly can get crazy with the crappiest of cars to the armoured vehicles. This is a game I got into way more than expected. And I am glad that the new Game Plus came along, with a silver trophy attached to it. It came along around the same sort of time as the last DLC. This is a solid play for those familiar with the series and those new to the series. The scenery is good here. Hope County is one of the best looking worlds I have ever played in. The game drew me in and in a whole year of playing, it was never boring. I was invested in the characters. I think the creep factor of Joseph Seed and his lieutenants, Faith, Jacob and John, 
is quite high, all things considered. And whilst you might not see everything, the suggestion of what they do is pretty damn evil. This is one of the things that I really liked. They were not in every second of the game, but their presence was certainly felt throughout. Day or night, the world is filled with stuff to do. Some of the side quests are repeats, but with this world, it doesn't really matter. It's just when you think you have it all worked out, someone spots you, or your dog and cougar, and are caught out, and are taken out, with you trying to rescue them. This is a game I found easy to get invested in, and hard to leave, in my experience anyway. So what did you get in that season pass? In total, there was three main DLC downloads, all connected to Far Cry 5, and a bonus game in the season pass. Hours of Darkness, set during the Vietnam War, your helicopter crashes and you must rescue your friends, making it across the jungle filled with the Viet Cong. Defend the hill until extraction. Lots of gunplay and even underground tunnels for you to explore. It's, you know those collectible lighters in Far Cry 5? Something connected to that. Lost on Mars is set on Mars and it's a follow on from a side mission in Far Cry 5. Herc is in real trouble. He's gone to pieces, literally. You, as Nick Rye, must help Herc pull himself together and help Anne power herself up to stop the alien invasion. This is comedy based. The zero G element makes for some crazy gameplay. Herc can be a little irritating, but there is always Spotify for those moments. Dead Living Zombie DLC. This is for anyone with a love for B movie zombie films. This again has a touch of comedy and some well designed levels and an understanding and knowledge of the genre. It's really fun to play and shows not all DLC has to have that much to do with the main game as the DLC has shown here. It shares the director from the game that you do missions for. And finally you get Far Cry 3 Classic. Now this is arguably the best Far Cry ever and they call it a classic. It has improved visuals, guessing by the resolution. You also get all the DLC that came with Far Cry 3. This is a great game with some fantastic characterization and character development. This season pass was amazing value. I bought the gold edition of the game for $69.99. I enjoy all the DLC greatly. My personal favorite is the zombies and Far Cry 3 is just the cherry on the top. This has been one of my favourite games of this generation. I was invested in the story and the characters. One of the reasons I will be playing New Dawn later in the year is to find out what happened to the Far Cry 5 characters. Every day you play is fun and you can choose what you do. Whether it's taking out a lieutenant, liberating a base, freeing a captive, taking out some random peggies, wingsuiting off a mountain or fishing. They have all entertained me many days over in their own way. A little bit of a story. I was enjoying the last piece of DLC, the zombie one, last August September time. Then I seen something about New Game Plus and it had a silver trophy attached. I already had got the platinum earlier, I think it was after the second DLC. And I was over the moon. I restarted the game on the hardest setting which is needed for that trophy to pop and the other day I finally finished the game for a second time and that trophy popped. And maybe it was not a platinum, but it may just be my favourite silver ever. So I'm saying goodbye to Hope County for now and I am just really happy that sometime soon I will be returning. So Far Cry 5 it most definitely is. So thanks for listening, if you like the review there is plenty more reviews and more on my channel. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Make the channel grow and make me a happy man. Bye Millie, bye Lloyd, bye all. 
Old School Gamer 1971, signing off.